Hi again, everyone. Today we're going to look at the following problem from multivariable calculus. In particular, we're asked to determine and classify all the critical points of this particular function of two variables. So how do we do it? Well, the first step is to find out where the critical points are. The second step is to classify them. Does the critical point lead to a local max, a local min, or something in between, the uh, so-called saddle point? OK, so let's solve it and uh, um, first of all determine, determine the critical points. All right, so the important thing here is to identify that the critical points occur when the two partial derivatives are both equal to zero. Okay, by the subscripts here, f sub x means df dx, the partial derivative. Okay, and f sub y means df dy, partial derivative. Okay, so essentially we work out these two partials, set them equal to zero, and, sol and solve the uh, resulting equations. Okay, so let's work out f sub x. It is just going to be, okay, differentiate with respect to x holding y fixed. Okay, so this is the expression for f sub x. f sub y is calculated by going to f, differentiating with respect to y and holding x fixed. So in this second case, we're going to get 2x plus 4y minus 2. Okay, so we set both of these expressions equal to 0 and solve. Okay, so if you look at these two equations here and here, well, they're not too difficult. We can take the first equation away from the second equation, and that way we eliminate the two x's. Okay, so the first equation away from the second one gives us something like 2y uh, minus 4 equals 0. So y equals 2. And then if we back substitute, we'll get x equal minus 3. So our critical point occurs at the point x equals minus 3, y equals 2. Okay, so that's the first part of the problem done. We've determined the location of the critical points. The second part is to classify them. Does this point here uh, lead to f having a local max, a local min, or a saddle point? All right, so that's the, the, the remaining uh, um, challenge. Now, to do that, to determine, uh, to, sorry, to classify our critical points, we need a, a special test called the second derivative test. Okay. Now, as the name suggests, the second derivative test involves second derivatives. All right. So let's calculate the second derivative uh, derivatives of f. Okay. So f sub x x can be calculated from here. It's just going to be two f sub y y is going to be 4. And the mixed partial, f sub x y, or f sub y x in this case, they're both equal, um, is going to be 2. Now the important piece of information here is the sign on f sub x x.
Okay? This is important because it's used in our, in our second derivative test. Now, the second derivative test not only involves uh, the sign of this uh, uh, derivative, but it also involves a discriminant, what's known as the discriminant. Now, the discriminant is defined in the following way. Okay, it's this expression here where we're multiplying the, the partial derivatives. Okay, so here we're going to get something like um, 8 minus 4, and again, is positive. Okay, so the discriminant is positive. So if we take this information and the information that the discriminant is positive, we can now apply our second derivative test and conclude that f must have a local minimum at our critical point. So the second derivative test ensures f has a local minimum at the critical point. Okay, so we solved the problem now. We've located the critical point and um, classified it into a local minimum. Now, why does the second derivative test actually work? Well, it's quite complicated. Uh, it involves the uh, Taylor approximations, and that's the subject of another video.